glad it's y'all. I ain't gonna say nothing because I don't want nobody to say, but I'm really glad. Glad to see all of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we're certainly glad for the word of the Lord. We pray that God will ever continue to bless us all and keep us. We just thank God for this hour, and I'm glad for you all taking the time to be here, to be a part of uh, this church anniversary and also along with the pastor anniversary. And we just thank God for the church, the thing that the Lord Jesus came, died for, and we just want to be a part of that and be all what the Lord would have us to be. Yes. And we want to just continue to continue to pray that God will ever continue to bless, <coughs> bless us all and keep us. So we thank God for all things. We're not going to hold you long tonight because we still got some more some more time we got to put in. Is that right? Yeah. And we just thank God for all the, all the ministers, brother. We're just glad for all y'all. It just it just does my heart good to see all this word up in there. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much can be said. That, you know, this guy was reading how that Paul was preaching. You know, he was preaching and the man was by the wall window. Uh -huh. He fell out and he went down there and prayed for him and he still preached the other day. <laughs> the day for him, that's all. Uh -huh. The day we can take that. <laughs> It'd be good. But see, you look at that. The, they were interested. They were they, they wanted to hear what God had to say. So that's what we should always be interested in, and that is hearing what the Lord has to say. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and God give apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So that's our purpose, is to edify you, that we can be all what the Lord would have us to be. And as I was saying, I think on Sunday, we were talking about recipes. The Word of God is a recipe for our lives so that we can be what God would have us to be. And you know, when you're doing, when you're making a recipe, it ain't going to be right unless you follow it according to the recipe. We ain't going to be right unless we do it according to the scripture. You, can, you know, a person that knows the recipe, you can leave one thing out and they'll tell you, you left something out. It might be, I, I forgot to put the cinnamon in. They'll know it. So it can be small things. That's why, you know, the Lord say, you know, if you keep the whole law and offend then one point, you're guilty of all. So we just have to be interested. Continue to pray. Prayer is very, very good in the name of the Lord. And, and as Minister Corey was teaching, how that one man caused it, and God honored that man in prayer. Yeah. Scripture says he was a, a man like passion as we are. But he prayed earnestly. And it might not rain. And it didn't rain. Ain't that something? Amen. So it's not that your prayers is not effectual, but just pray. So remember to pray. And then he talked about the orders of the saints now. It goes up before God. It means a lot, saints. Amen. So Amen. let us remember to pray in Amen. the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank God for all things. Amen. We're glad. Any, any, anything else? Nothing else. We're glad. We'll be back tomorrow. Lord's will. We got an announcement of Brothers of Unity. Please remember to bring your items, ice and other drinks. So I'm sure the brothers will remember that. So y'all remember to take care of that. You know, if, if the weather is like it is, you, we might not need no ice item. Huh? <laughs> might need some hot chocolate, but nevertheless, you still bring it. Is that all right? Nah. But we're glad. I'm glad for all y'all. Nah. Glad for all of you all. Every one of you that are here are present in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Pray much. Pray one for another. And the will of the Lord will be done in all of our lives. Um, Gray Bryant, Elder Bishop. You got it? You want to tell me? Come here. Come here, my brother. I can, I can, I can tell you, my brother. Come here. This is my brother. <laughs>
DEA. Mm -hmm. And um, ran into some little issues of illness in, in the body. Yeah. Yeah. And still have some problems now. When I say that, I want to be here, and I think mm -hmm. on the Facebook, I, uh, I saw something say that you're interested, and I put interested in there. <laughs> and after I put interest in there, I seen several other people who yeah. know me and say they were interested in coming to me. And I, I and, uh, talked to my wife, I said, um, I, I plan to go, uh, in my heart to go, I don't know why the Lord is want me to come a long, long, long time. We have left to be here. Yes, Lord. And so I had to, I just want to come because I, I love you. You have something here you, to cherish. Yes. Amen. And to the but, but the family, what I am, what I am about it, and what I appreciate about it, uh, this is a good man here. Because I'm, I'm a good man. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I looked at him and he said, Bishop, you got a lot of bishops. But as you go in that Bible and look at the qualification, wow. it comes up. Go get on the line. Look at the man. Look at the life. Look at the family. Look at the children. The Bible's got three for children. Some of them just spend a lot of money. You know, I'm not a preacher. I'm just saying. And I looked and I seen him coming out of a Facebook guy. He uh, is a man, is a, the husband is a lover. Because I'm a lover. I love my wife. Uh, the reason why I was a little late today, she she got up and uh, she was not feeling well the day to come. I'm not feeling well because she usually drives. Yeah, but I drove here with my hip bothered me and uh, got an infection. Because we didn't know that I was going to be able to come for the, the last. Sunday when I preach, that's the first time I preached the uh, bishop since September. Yeah. And so you know it must have, you know it must have a problem. Yeah. But I used to preach and I study my, my word. And, and so I was I said I had to be here even to tell the but the family that y'all one of the greatest. Because mm. we I have one of the greatest, but look at you said that's I got a lot of that's a lot of competition there. Right. Look at how you pastor, how you love. I uh, uh, remind me my father is full of love. And I'm going to say this in a, in a song say, uh, I'm not much of a song say, but what that song say, uh, the amazing grace will always be my song of praise. Yeah. Because he looks beyond all my faults. Yeah. Oh, somebody like me. Mm -hmm. Why do we, in this day and time, we look beyond everybody's need that's finding faults? We find so much to fall out about. It is not about us, but about saving souls. We have fallen out about one differences and kill each other and forget about the 99 things that we don't. Amen. Amen. This doesn't hurt because the children are hurt is from it. They are hurt from it and in our different ways. Y'all know, we come here and say 56 years, Bishop. And the more I come and see, we come to church, we have a lot of issues. We say, but we go through a lot. If you're a father and a grandfather, this other day, Bishop, I had to get up you all. Let my daughter move. She was married. Yes, yes, well, what are you doing messing my daughter? <laughs> yes. That's why you have to be careful about what you do and how you get into it and how you right. marry yeah, to get right. into it. Yeah. But sometimes you can get into a problem that messes up a blessing. Amen. Yeah. You get into a curse. Yeah. And so I worked all day, other day, Thursday. They had to get up today and do a whole lot of time. Because I'm going to be there. My wife didn't come here, but when she got here, she was in the truck and couldn't hardly get out in the bed. And she went, and then they said, she said I feel so bad. And I said, um, uh, you feel all right, honey? She said, I'm all right. I'm going to lay down and rest. I said, well, um, um, she said, you go ahead on. I said, no, ma'am. I'm not going to leave until I know you're feeling it. 
I know for myself who he is. Right. 56 years of one life. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to God. And don't know but one woman. Oh, never smoke, never drink, never gather. And you're going to tell me I don't know him? The devil is a liar. Amen. And some of them say they know him, but they're mad three times. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When I get here, I'm in another level. I'm in another level. I will not be from my family. I will not send the priest because some of them got together. I know God for me. And then God gave me a, a ministry. A reconciliation. God gave me love for anyone here in the body. And I truly love y'all here. Now let's submit your prayers. Amen. Like you say. Pray for the, the man of God. Amen. You got something here, you better, you better cherish it. But you got somebody who's concerned, mm -hmm. who cares about you, mm -hmm. and about your well being, and, yes. and nah. about your welfare. Okay. Amen. Because nah. it's, it's rare to find now. Yes. Some people seeking for authority and they're seeking to get, That's right. you know, they want to be a big man. Right. Right. Big organization. All we're doing, no, it's not, no, what we're doing, it, it, it just like, it's just like in the bank. <laughs> you go in the bank and you take some money out your savings mm -hmm. and put it in your checking. Mm -hmm. And you will walk out there and say, oh, I got, I got the interest, I got the property. No, you didn't. <laughs> or you did a slide some money right over here to another one. You, mm -hmm. you ain't gaining. And mm -hmm. sometimes all we're doing, we ain't winning or so, all we're doing is swapping members. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Losing problems and gaining problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said we went and said we get so what so no you no you didn't you ain't you ain't got a a, a, a bit of soul this what you lost one and got another one sometimes you need one problem and come get another one yeah. and folks now as I go down I sit down and, and for folks now they come and they're looking for something because they're hurting yeah. and they need some help somewhere and all because everything done just done just about done, uh, deceived us coaches teachers. Yeah. Preachers, yeah. parent, because you got parents even even taking advantage of their own children. Amen. And so where did, where could the children look for now, except the, the, who to look for? They done been deceived so, we done been hurt so, and we done got so many revelations, and our folks don't know whether they, they, whether they trust us now or not. Because you say, well, 20 years later, you're going to get another one, then what, what am I going to do now? I'm lost. I'm just saying, we just got to be careful what we're doing and how we handling in the word of God and how we are representing Christ and how we're trying to go the world to Christ. Amen. Amen. We got to do a better job of what we're doing. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We just go back to preaching the gospel Amen. of Jesus Christ that soon is going to be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you going to get the crackheads? Amen. The drunkheads and the uh, fornicated head and adulterer head and all these kind of together and we can't even get the good head together. <laughs> I mean, hallelujah to God. But you got to go back to that gospel. You got to pray, pray, pray. Pray. The Lord will provide. That's what I'm going to talk to y'all in night in prayer. The Lord, Lord. will. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got prayer. Yeah. Don't have faith, it's dead. Yes. That's true. But you just say it's prayer. Right. It's the key. Faith not allowed to go. Faith not allowed to go. Why pray mm -hmm. if you don't believe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. You know, you pray because you got trust in it. You got mm -hmm. to trust. And know who you're praying at. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. We love you. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Thank God for it. Thank God.